So uh, give him a lot of love, and his name is Socrates. Hey. Going for Saeed. Glad to be with me here tonight. Yeah, thank you, Dudak. Thinking about this all day, thinking zippity doodah, zippity day. Oh my, what a wonderful day. Yeah, there's plenty of comedy coming our way. Zippity doodah, zippity day. Thank you, thank you very much, appreciate that. <laughs> I think either you'd uh, appreciate the old song, or you'd just think I was really creative, so, or you'd just kind of sit there quietly. It was uh, almost number two, so I'm feeling all right. So, my name is Socrates. But don't worry, I'm neither a philosopher nor a zombie. Or well, worse, a philosopher zombie, because they only want one thing. Brains! <laughs> don't worry, my stuff's not all that intelligent, so it's easy. Like recently, I've uh, been on the internet a whole bunch. I've been trying to master clickbait. Yeah, hey, appreciate that. That's all there was to that. There's nothing more than that. Master clickbait. Anyway, <laughs> like you said, you got to try them out once. And I wasn't sure about that, but now I know. Appreciate you. So uh, I noticed that the religious people, they tend to freak out pretty easily. Uh, they get really excited about like the second coming of Christ. I don't get that. I came twice yesterday. Nobody threw me upon it. In fact, nobody even helped. I had to do it myself. I mentioned God a whole bunch of times. Though, so. so if you can't tell I am an American, okay, fine. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Point well made. I hear you. I hear you. It's true, though. You know, I'm born in New Jersey. That's the East Coast. And people tell me that the Americans, we don't have any culture whatsoever. And I disagree because, you know, racism and Big Macs. That's what we've got. So I'm also Greek, and of course, we're drowning in culture. So between the two halves, I average out as English. <laughs> Which really sucks for me because, one, I blame the English on all of the world's problems. And two, as a Greek, if I was English, first thing I'd do is return the Elgin Marbles, which the English stole from us hundreds of years ago. We've been trying to get back. Brexit, we've been working on that for eternity. It's never happened. You know, in the end, I actually kind of wish I was born in California, because then I'd average out to being Irish. Uh, at least I could have something to be proud of. <laughs> I tried, Sharon, what can I tell you? <laughs> So I don't know if you know anyone with a Greek father, if you've had any friends with Greek fathers, but all Greek fathers, for the most part, will always have the same bit of advice. If you mention something like pyrotechnics or democracy, that's a Greek word. But they don't give you any more details, like democracy. You know, it's like, you know, it's demo, to try something out. Krisi is a Greek word for wine. Because democracy is best done drunk. <laughs> I didn't really understand that until Brexit and Trump, but now it makes a whole lot more sense to me. So, um, I've been believing like different cultures, you know, I think it's one of the nice things. And here in Holland, we have Dutch people here tonight, right? Yeah. So if I'm wrong with these things, feel free to yell out, correct me, I don't mind. Uh, some of the Dutch uh, sayings I really like is like, uh, de kogel is door de kerk. Yeah, okay, see, that means the bullet is in the church. Through the church. Through the church. Okay, see, there you go. Appreciate that, you were listening earlier. <laughs> and basically it means um, that the time for discussion is over, now it's clear what we have to do. Right? Basically? Close enough? Uh, basically, when you have these new invaders coming, are they friend or they foe? Well, when they put bullets in the church, well, they're clearly not Christians. You've got a barbarian situation on your hand. You know the old saying about that, right? Feed a Christian, fuck a barbarian. <laughs> it works. It truly does work. So now in America, where literally we've had thousands of bullets in hundreds of churches, we haven't got a clue what we're supposed to do. The decision is not clear. You know, the one thing we know is that if you got rid of all the guns, you wouldn't get rid of all the guns. Yeah, I agree with you. See, uh, new to app come out the mouth. Right? Which means now the monkey comes out the sleeve. Do I have to explain or do you get it? All right. Uh, basically, it's now you're, you've shown your true colors. Again, right? Close enough? And uh, like the Republicans, they're constantly talking that they're the party of health care as they're perpetually trying to get rid of everybody's health care. Yeah, because there's so many monkeys running around America. The sleeves are stretched out like this. The churches have been whittled down in a little pile with the bullets, and yet we don't have a clue what any of it means. I'm telling you. Uh, another one I like it. Well, of course, the problem with this stuff is uh, it leads over time to like unhappy people, you know, and need to cut off the speck binder. Uh, these are at least they're, they're 
least real. You can hear the reaction. You don't put the cat, you don't wrap the cat in bacon. <laughs> See, there's Dutch, Dutch sayings are slightly different than other people's sayings. But this is what they've got to work with, so I'm doing what I can. So you want to, you don't want to tempt uh, temptation. You don't want to encourage temptation, right? Basically, because cats love bacon. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's the way it comes down to. So it's like. Uh, yeah, they don't all make, they make so much, so much sense. Like, I like the English ones, too, which also, as an American, they didn't make much, so much, much so much sense to me either. And, uh, like, things like, uh, uh, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yeah, this has nothing to do with hand jobs or pussy. The essence is that what you have is better than what you might have. And, uh, what the Rex Tears will call, bullshit! No, what you know, a bird in the hand are you kidding me? There could be five birds in that bush. There could be a pony. Yeah, they're not right, by the way. There's nothing in the bush. Um, let's see. Uh, what was the other one? Penny wise and pound foolish. Again, this is, uh, you know, not as an American. I thought that meant that the Americans, we were smart with the pennies and the British were stupid with the pounds. That was before Trump. Uh, now I realize it could go both ways. And, uh, and again, it's like with, uh, with the, uh, the whole European the Brexit thing. You know, they're penny wise, they're focused on the details, but they're ignoring the big picture. And they are. I think we can all agree on that. At least I think the British are ignoring the big picture. But I'm also very pro Brexit because I'm an American living in Holland. So <laughs> <laughs> they got that big building coming up next to the station south with the uh, European uh, medical thing, the medical building. I think that's cool because it's a huge building, and it used to be in London. But uh, no problem. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna skip ahead here. One of my favorite like to say: uh, When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You know, when you have a problem, you should make the best out of it. You know, assuming you have a pitcher, a bunch of cold water, and a lot of sugar. You know, because now as a Greek, I say, if life gives you lemons, you make fish. <laughs> because it's better on fish than lemons. Now, if you teach, if you give a man a fish, a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, he'll leave for a lifetime. See, charity is not nearly as helpful as education. Education will change your life. Now, I say, you teach a Greek man to fish, he'll be glad when life gives him lemons. <laughs> so put him on the fish. Anyway, I want to thank you so much, Dudak. Thank you, Saeed. My name is Socrates. Thank you all.